Baron Sons is back. So COVID pretty much put Baron Sons out of the multi-tool game. They no longer make multi-tools here in the U.S., but it seems like they have collaborated with Blackhawk, and now they are making tools and knives under that name, selling them on their website. So collaboration of sorts. I believe it's made in China. I don't think I see any indications, any names that it is, but I don't see any indications that it isn't, so I'm pretty sure it is. So this right here is a unique multi-tool. It does come in at around the $74 mark, and let me explain to you why. So one of the reasons we see is that this has been designed with replaceable wire cutters. That is definitely something that we see people really enjoying on the market right now. So we've got this right here. Let's go ahead and just do a uh, right there, coat hanger test. And it seems like everything is okay with the Blackhawk right there. Again, these are your standard straight on one side, and then they do have this little notch out on the other. You do have a wire crimper at the bottom, and then you do have special grips. These are Zytel grips mounted to a stainless steel frame. Now, you may remember Zytel from when Leatherman used them as inserts instead of grips. They actually used them on the inside of the tool with, what was it, the fuse and some of those other uh, smaller tools, but they are back now to be used on the outside, which I think is a sort of a unique occurrence in multi-tool evolution, I guess you could say. All right, so if you haven't already guessed, this is definitely a Gerber Suspension NXT clone. If we turn it over, there are tons of similarities, a lot of you know, we've got spring-loaded pliers. Everything pretty much looks the same. We've got even this clip that looks fairly similar, has the same wiggle as the NXT does. So a lot of similarities right there. Now, obviously, they've made an effort to make this a more luxurious variant. So we've got the replaceable wire cutters. We've got the Zytel grips. And before we move on, let's talk a little bit about the holster. You get an injection molded holster right here that you can mount to your belt. You can either use this this way or you can close it up and put it in there as well. More on that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and talk about the tool set. So let's go ahead and fan this out. And I want to go ahead and compare it to the original NXT Gerber instead of there's also by Barry makes a clone as well as several others now many people are cloning the nxt these days so let's go ahead open the nxt as well uh, show you all of its features and there are some differences between these tools all right so what we have on this side is we do have this lanyard loop we've got a ruler of sorts we've got a file on this side right here and then we do have the screwdriver tip on the end we do have the all and we do have this phillips screwdriver now one of the things i've always loved about the gerber nxt is that you can use this as with the bit adapter and it's already great on its own and the bit adapter just makes it better all right so and again very familiar to the nxt looks pretty much exactly the same uh, right there you go all right so let's talk about the other side we've got the knife right here again it is a combo edge blade you've got the serrated part at the bottom and then we do have the can opener bottle cap lifter and we do have another large screwdriver and a wire stripper of sorts more on that later and then a pair of scissors. Let's go ahead, close these up, and then I wanna talk about the wire stripper for just a little bit. So we'll close all these up. One of the things you'll notice is that in the original version, the wire stripper really does have an edge. And when I was checking, when I was testing the Gerber Truss, which is a tool we don't talk about a lot, just sort of flies under the radar, it actually is one of the best uh, systems for cutting wires because I really like how the wire stripper, I think it's basically this one, sits almost on the handle. You can use that as a lever and this works absolutely fantastic. Now, one of the things about this tool is they've coated this in black and I can't tell that there's an edge at all. There's a notch, but I don't see any edge at all. 
So I'm not sure where the edge went to, disappeared. Again, I don't think a lot of people will be using this for wire strippers probably. I don't think that's a very used tool on here, but it is a function unfortunately that is not available on this tool. So let's bring the Byberry back. Again, this is the cheapest variant, only $16. And yet we do see there is again an edge on this wire stripper. This one would in theory actually work right there. So anyway. All right, so let's talk about scissors. Let's go ahead and bring in some paracord. One of the things I've noticed about this pair of scissors is it does cut fairly well. You have to be fairly intentional and you have to, well, there we go. So sometimes it gets hung up, sometimes it's fine, but it doesn't always cut extremely well. Again, let's bring in the original Gerber uh, NXT right here. You'll notice these are a little bit different. The scissors, these are a little bit more pointy right here. So let's go ahead, use these scissors. And there we go. Cuts very good. Cuts very good. Cuts very good. And there we go. Cuts very good. So I feel like the NXT does cut better. Again, keep in mind, it's $34 on Amazon, as opposed to $74 for the Blackhawk. All right, so let's go ahead and use this Byberry. And wow, it cuts very well as well. So the Black Hawk does cut, but again, I don't feel like it cuts better. I feel like it actually cuts worse than its two cheaper rivals. All right, so that is pretty much the loadout, and this is where things start going from bad to worse. So today I use this holster. Again, it talks about it's injection molded. It literally fell apart as I climbed into my car. It got caught on something, ripped apart very quickly, and the plastic was gone, and here we go. I'm left with this. So this probably works great if you stand still and don't move. But if you're playing to move and walk and sit down, probably not the greatest holster. So let's go over some of these options and then sort of wrap it up. So one of the things I do want to mention, I think we do need to compare is talk about size, weight and price. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the cheapest tool, which is the Byberry and all the clones that follow it. So this one right here comes in at $16, the Byberry 16 in one. I think it's a fairly, actually a really good value at $16. You can buy used Gerber suspension NXTs on eBay for about $15. So anyway, it's up to you, but you can get this brand new. It is perhaps a little bit heavier duty because it does seem like they've strengthened the frame. Some people had issue with the original NXT flexing. And again, you can figure out uh, how you feel about that. Now, the original Gerber NXT, you could buy for $34 on Amazon. So on Gerber's website, it's $50, but on Amazon, it's still $34. So again, pretty good value there. The Blackhawk comes in at $74. You can buy it on eBay for $59. You can find some other websites that sell it for $59. But I believe on Baron Sons, they're asking $74. Maybe it's reduced, but the original listing price was, I think, around $74, which to me is insane. This comes in at 8.1 one ounces. The Gerber NXT comes in at 6.7 ounces. And I know this was heavier, so they're probably pretty close in weight. But again, 6.7 ounces, 8.1 ounces. Part of the reason why you're carrying this instead of a wave is probably because of weight. You want a lighter tool. That's one of the things that appeals to you. But with these uh, clone versions, they're heavier. And so, I mean, part of that, part of that reason to carry NXT is gone because they're not near as light anymore. I guess one of the things I have to say about this is I do like the Zytel grips. I think that's cool. They're very bright. 
uh, very nice as well. I do like that it comes with replaceable uh, wire cutters. I'm not a huge fan of this black coating. I think it looks nice, but with every multi-tool I've had pretty much with it from, you know, that's in this cheaper budget category, the black rubs off fairly quickly. And it is disappointing to me that that wire stripper, even though I probably will never use it, if I had to use it, I don't know if I even could. So that's disappointing as well. So when we talk about the functions, again, we've got the knife, we've got the scissors, we've got the bottle op opener, can opener, safety lock, Zytel grips right here. We've got the flat screwdriver, wire stripper of sorts. And then on this side, again, we have the 420 stainless steel jaw. We've got the carbide cutters. Uh, we do have the clip on the back, safety lock, the lanyard, roller on the back, flat screwdriver. Here it shows how you can use these. There are several different colors of these. I believe they do come in a tan, perhaps a gray or a black. So there are several different color options. Again, it talks about it's 4.1 inches closed and 8.1 ounces or 230 grams. So I thought this was uh, sort of unique as well. Again, it says... Uh, for Baron Sons right here at the bottom cutlery, Blackhawk. So it does seem to be a collaboration right there between them. All right. So final thoughts. I don't think this is worth the extra money, especially compared to the Byberry, which is very close to. A couple functions don't work as well. Yes, you do have the Zytel uh, grips, but in the end, no, probably don't buy this. Wait if you really want an NXT clone by the Byberry, or you could just buy the real thing. This looks cool, but I don't think it's worth, unfortunately, the extra money.